What's going on guys, J.K. White here from the Baseball Rebellion, here to break down Jamison Fisher of Southeastern Louisiana. Um, it was funny, I was watching the, you know, some of the regional um, coverage of the, uh, the College World Series and the regional games going on, uh, some really great games and some great hitters and <clears throat> talented players, and I was watching this guy, you know, this team, and, and I was just flipping through the games, and I, you know, the announcer said uh, was so and so Jamison Fisher the best hitter in college baseball on deck, and I was really not quite sure who he was. I hadn't really, you know, I heard his name a couple of times, but hadn't really seen too many swings, and so I watched, and, and I was really impressed and surprised with some of the movement um, I, I saw in his swing and and how he was getting to some balls, and really how fluid and smooth he was for a college guy. And you don't really see that a ton in a lot of college guys. A lot of, of guys at that level. Um, get kind of get coached out of some of that kind of stuff, maybe because their coaches want them to to play into a system, more of like a small ball kind of a system, and things like that. And you kind of have what we call the Johnny College look about you uh, sometimes. And but I didn't really see that with him, and it was really fun to watch. And he and he killed some a couple balls that I saw. And uh, I got some video here. It wasn't the easiest to find video of him. There's some different things on YouTube where you can find of him in batting practice. But I wanted some games. I want to see some game swings where we can really break down how he adjusts and how he moves his body. And I'm just going to play these through real quickly. And I know it's a little bit of slow motion, but you're going to notice some things after we uh, watch him in full speed here or watch him in, in the full swing. And there's the first one in the right hand side. It's a little bit of a different view, which I like. Too. We can learn a lot from that view, too. So very repeatable swing. He does a lot of the same things um, that certain guys do in the big leagues where, you might, where you're might where you going to see some movement forward and some good upper half stuff as well. But uh, we're going to break down the, the first swing here on the left. And I really like the overall fluidity and smooth uh, start that he has. Just that nice kind of rocking of the barrel. Everything's nice and loose, and, and there's not really a, a, too much of a still – or a hitch move in his and what he does, everything's really, really good. And then from there, he has you know leg lift, and we really like leg lifts here. Um, you know, it helps players kind of get in the rhythm, get moving better, as opposed to standing very wide or starting very wide and, and, and not really going anywhere. You can also start wider. You know, he's not super, super narrow with his feet, but he's also not you know terribly wide either. And he moves out of it really well into the leg kick and the nice back leg angle that we see here. So, you know, he's picked up that leg, and at the same time as his knee is up, he's got the barrel going inward. So as he's going forward, the elbow, just like uh, I talked about a couple weeks ago in my back elbow article, has kind of more of a, um, uh, a, tr a trout slash um, Prince Filter type of a back elbow and, and kind of a row behind him. So he's really stretching out back here um, between his hips and his back shoulder. And as he goes forward... Right as he goes forward, he lands into that front knee really, really well. Um, not really opening quite as much as maybe we'd like to see, um, but I, you know we can't really tell what the pitch is or what his timing was like on this on this particular pitch. But I really like how he, how he gets started. I mean, everything out of how you start in your stance and how you move into your front foot is super, super important. And the rhythm that he has and the and the smoothness from the beginning to the front foot down is just really impressive to watch. And I know this is a fan-made video, but it's really, really good to watch. And what's really, I think, it, you probably didn't, if you don't do what we do every day, you probably didn't catch it, but there's a little bit of a of stutter, kind of a stutter false move that he makes in his upper body. So if you see him going through there, there, and then right there, he kind of does a quick little pump action. And he does that so that he can time up his move forward very nicely with the pitch. So when you have that upper body movement with the stride you got to make sure that as you're going forward in the stride just like he does here your barrel is in as your elbow and as your back shoulder and elbow go, go up higher so as he's moving forward we can clearly see the barrel staying up here with his back elbow and that's something that we want to see as we go forward you can see it there and as he's going forward he kind of raises his elbow again so the barrel goes higher and then as he goes to swing that's when we're going to see everything really uh, take off in speed but what i wanted to point out was that was that kind of double clutch move that he used to get back into timing because the pitcher started his motion and that's what he had to do to get back into sequence so that's really cool to find you don't see that a lot in college guys um, it's a big league move it's a very impressive uh, uh, upper body move that you don't see a ton so i was really happy to see that and then from once we get to the the front foot down he does a fantastic job and again the video is a little bit blurry 
but once we get to contact here, we can see a lot of really cool things. All right, number one, we can tell that this is a low pitch. We clearly see um, the catcher already on a knee. We can see him really trying to keep the ball down and away from him. Obviously, a very dangerous hitter, and the pitcher and the catcher wanting to keep the ball out of the zone. And it looks like the, the pitcher might have just left left the ball up a little bit. But what we can see from this is the really, really, really straight front leg up to the hip. Very nice. We can see the back knee um, bent with the back foot in the air. So if you watch his back foot from, from the starting position here or from back here, you can really see how the back foot comes off the ground very nicely with the turn. Front leg doing its job. You can see the front foot roll out uh, as, as he turns. Again, that's a little bit dangerous. Not the safest thing to do on that ankle, but... You know, it's something that a lot of guys do. If we can be better than that, which we think you can, we're going to try to open that foot all the way. Um, one of the things that I really, really enjoyed about this particular clip was the side bend we're seeing in his swing. So if we really look at, at this part of his body, how he's getting to this pitch, he's really bending at the side. So as he recognizes the pitch is low, it works really nicely for him because of the height he has in that back elbow and the barrel to really work back down behind him this way to come up underneath those balls and lift them that are ankle high. And most pitchers are keep trying to keep the ball low anyway. So it really helps them out to get high and then to really get to that nice side bend position when the hips rotate out so that he can lift these balls. You can really see his, his nose down here as well, but you can really identify the shoulder angle here. So if you're a coach out there watching this guy, I mean, he hit, this guy hit 430 something with limited strikeouts, uh, 11 home runs, I think. And so this swing is a home run, powerful, aggressive, athletic swing, but he adjusts so well in different positions. I mean, look how low this pitch is, and look at this shoulder angle here, and look where he's hitting this ball. I mean, he lifts this ball upward that's coming down at his ankles because of that. So understand that you don't have to be a strikeout guy if you know how to move your body. And then from there, we can see the nice rotation up out of it, and uh, that ball is crushed. Moving on to the, the back view here, we're going to see a very similar um, start with his upper half, of course. He's got the nice uh, motion there, and then he has that little bit of a false move again where you can see him kind of freeze, right? He doesn't just stay in it. He's got to make sure he times up his barrel tip. And this, this barrel tip forward right here, I'm going to go back and forth. This tip in, he wants to be here where, the bar where his back elbow is up and the barrel is pointed in as he moves forward he know he knows that he has to get there and so from that he when he starts his move forward he's going to determine when to go off the pitcher so he has that freeze right there and then he goes forward again into that move into that upper body move so it's just really impressive how he can sync together his upper half rhythm and timing with a really nice leg kick it's big league it's it's uh it's, it's rep representative of Donaldson and maybe even uh, Batista a little bit and Javier Baez and some other guys like that. It's it's one of the reasons why those guys are so good at at what they do. So really impressive there from a college guy. You don't see that a lot. Again, that's that this is more of something that you see from a guy who's been playing a lot longer at a higher level and uh, really nice to see. So from the backside view here, we can see a little bit better. He does actually open up his front foot a little bit better here. And then really just that, that torque on his body getting that side bend. This is a really crucial shot here for coaches who may be watching this. As you see his, his front hip, if we pay attention to that front side, open up right there. You can see this, his, belt, his, uh, his belt on the front side coming towards the camera. You can also start to see with after the high back elbow right here, you can see that side bend we were talking about in the previous clip start to happen as well. So as he rotates out, he starts to side bend behind him. So everything is happening back here behind his body. He's not trying to go directly from his you know position here, like down through the zone towards the ball. Everything is happening really fast back here behind him so that he can get the barrel going back behind in front of the catcher's mitt and then out towards the ball, of course, as we know good hitters like to do. So you can see him get right here, and oh man, that is a lot of torque, and there's a lot of explosive athletic things happening right here in his in his in his side benders. Okay, so from here he just keeps turning, the barrel gets below the ball right here. You can see a little bit of the blur of the bat right there. It's gone right there. I go back a frame, next frame you can see the bat. So he's really accelerating the barrel into the into the zone in front of the catcher's mitt right here. As he's doing so, the front leg pushing back. As he's doing so, the back foot pulling forward. So you're seeing all these things happen very consistently from swing to swing with this guy. 
Um, after he side bends, gets the ball, gets the barrel below the ball. You can see his head's turned down to the ball as well, and continues to catch the ball on the way up. So you can clearly see his barrel once contact is made is continuing on its way up to the uh, you know to the outfield to the sky. And here's that bent back knee, high back heel uh, position that we like to see. And because one thing or two, I wanted to illustrate as you can see. His stride is super, super straight. So he's very heel to heel right here, very nicely. So his, his back hip, back knee, and back foot are clear to work forward towards the pitcher, as we see a lot of big leaguers do. And uh, it's just a really good quality college swing. And, you know, he didn't play in the biggest, best, baddest conference in, in, the, in the world, and we know that. But what's nice to see, I think, are a lot of high-quality moves from an unexpected place. Um, you know, he had some surgery. I know he earned his labrum and some other things. So a lot of times that's going to play into where he gets drafted. But, I mean, the guy hit 430. I don't care what league you're in, hitting 430 something, 438 it might have been, was is, is extremely tough to do with 11 home runs. And I think his swing mechanics, his swing style plays out at the next level. I think it really does. I mean, this is just a high-level upper body put in with a nice leg kick. A nice move forward and an unbelievably great upward turn of the barrel uh, with his upper body. So, you know, I, I just think that this swing plays at the next level. It's hard to make it, but I think if he continues to, to maybe gain some size, I don't know if he's going to be a catcher. I know they have him listed as a catcher. I know it's harder for him to throw the ball. I know his little labor injuries, but I would really like to see him up against uh, some professional pitchers for a while with the wood bat because I think that's a wood bat swing. So best of luck to Jamerson Fisher. I was really excited to do this breakdown after I saw him hit a couple times this past weekend. I don't know exactly what round he'll go in, but his bat certainly plays at the next level, that's for sure. So again, Jamerson Fisher, southeastern Louisiana. Uh, look him up on YouTube. Very good, very good hitter, very fun to watch, and uh, hopefully we'll see him more in the future. Thanks, guys.